All right, you reach the advanced level, your vocabulary is full of common and fancy words, but you still don't understand natives when they speak fast. First of all, we all should understand that natives do not speak as I do right now. I'm speaking in a slow pace, I don't change sounds, and I don't connect words because I want you to understand me. Did you hear that? Want you. I didn't say I want you to understand me. I said want you. We call this assimilation. Basically, it's when we change a sound to make it more similar to a neighboring sound. Let's read this sentence, please. Don't you like burgers? I say don't you because assimilation here helps me to connect those two words and as a result I speak faster. Now listen and try to catch the difference, okay? Don't you. Don't you like burgers? Or don't you. Don't you like burgers? You see, when I say don't you, it's impossible not to make a pause between don't and you, so it makes me to sound slower than if I say don't you. More examples are did you call me yesterday? Not did you, but did you? Or sit back and listen. I don't say sit back, I say sit back. How crazy is that? I changed the T sound into a completely different sound. P, sit back, sit back. And one more example. I want this shoe. You see, as a result of assimilation, the S sound became SH. I didn't say I want this shoe. I said I want this shoe. Okay, this shoe. So my advice is you should know about assimilation and keep it in your mind when you listen because we may encounter this phenomenon in almost every sentence. How about the next phrase? Can you understand it? All right, if you're ready, so this is the phrase. Digit. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? So I actually want you to write down what you hear because soon you will be able to understand that phrase. And now let me repeat it so you can write down what you hear. All right? Digit. Okay? There are several reasons why you don't understand that phrase and let's cover those reasons so you can understand it. The basic thing that we usually do when we speak is linking. It's quite obvious what is it because link as a word means to connect something to something and here we connect words. For example, this phrase. Can you read it please? This is how you pronounce it. I want that apple. So I connected that to apple and now it is that apple. You see how fast it is when I say it? Listen please and try to catch the difference. That apple or that apple. So if you want to start practicing linking in your speech, then whenever you see that the one word ends with a consonant sound and the next word starts with a vowel sound or vice versa, then you can link them. And if you are really interested in linking, then go to the comment section and demand the whole video with explanation about it and I'll make it. Also guys, can you tell me why do I say that apple? I changed the last two sound of the word that to r sound and I said that, that apple. Do you remember what is it? Yes, that was assimilation. Also, we drop a lot of sounds. We call it elision and there isn't any grammar behind it. We do it just to speak fast. That's it. Read this, please. I think you read it like, didn't he? But nobody pronounced it like that. We say, didn't he? How about this phrase? How you read it? 
Did you say give me? No, we say give me, give me. And we say next day instead of next day. We drop the T sound in order to link those two words. I mean next and day, next day. But let me surprise you by revealing a shocking secret. Sometimes we can even drop the whole words. For example, this phrase. The correct way of pronouncing the, this phrase is that's it. But we can sometimes say that's it. Did you hear that? Isn't that crazy that we can drop sounds and now we know that we can even drop the whole words? Anyway, now when we know about assimilation, linking and elision, let's look at this phrase. Did you eat yet? Here we assimilate and link the words did and you and it sounds like did you. Then we drop the U sound of you and link it to the word eat. So we say yet instead of you eat. And finally we drop the last word yet and as a result we have did yet. Oh, that was the phrase, right? Did yet. I told you you would understand it soon. So as you see, sometimes we can say did yet instead of did you eat yet. Okay? Now listen to me carefully and try to catch the next phrase. Are you ready? Okay. Would you give me some of that? Let's try it again, okay? Would you give me some of that? Okay. If it's difficult for you, you may read it. That was the phrase. I didn't say would you. I said would you. Would you. Instead of give me, I said give me by dropping the v sound. Give me. And I definitely didn't say some of that. I dropped the f sound in order to link those two words, some and that. As a result, I had some of that. Finally, I dropped the t sound in the end of the phrase that. As a result, all the words would you give me some of that sounded like one word. Would you give me some of that? Would you give me some of that? Okay? There are some other ways to speak faster and it's going to be a topic of one of my next videos. So subscribe and click the bell button in order not to miss that video. And if the information in this video was helpful, please like it and leave your comments. And of course, I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.